a roadmap to freedom for the fully vaccinated. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian Heiser here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Let's look at a media release from the New South Wales government. There's now a roadmap to freedom for those that are fully vaccinated. So stay-at-home orders for adults who have received both doses of the COVID-19 vaccine will be lifted from the Monday after New South Wales passes the 70% double vaccination target under the Roadmap to Freedom released today. So there we go. There's your path out of lockdowns right there. Isn't that what we all want? The Roadmap is subject to further fine-tuning and health advice if circumstances change drastically or if cases within a designated area remain too high. You're going to have different areas. Different areas with different lockdowns, I bet you. Premier Gladys Berejiklian said we are well on the way to hitting the 70% double dose milestone, which will allow the state to open up for those who have received both doses of a COVID-19 vaccine. And with that will come a, a COVID passport, everyone. That's just going to, be, going to be part of Australia in the 21st century. I cannot stress enough how important it is for people to get vaccinated. If you have not had both doses of the vaccine by the time we hit the 70% milestone, you will not be able to take advantage of these freedoms, Ms. Berejiklian said. Deputy Premier John Barillaro said the New South Wales government has worked with industry to design this roadmap, which is our biggest incentive to get vaccinated to reach the 70% target as soon as possible. Our roadmap outlines the freedoms that twice vaccinated people will enjoy once we reach a 70% double dose, which means a meal with loved ones or a drink with friends is just around the corner, he said. Only fully vaccinated people and those with medical exemptions will have access to the freedoms allowed under the reopening New South Wales roadmap. The freedoms for vaccinated adults will come into effect on the Monday after New South Wales hits the 70% double dose target and include gatherings in the home and public space. Up to five visitors will be allowed in a home, where all adults are vaccinated, not including children 12 and under. Up to 20 people can gather in an outdoor setting. This doesn't feel like how it used to be, does it? Still restrictions, still limitations. Venues including hospitality, retail store and gyms. Hospitality venues can reopen subject to one person per four square meter inside and one person per two square meter outside, with standing while drinking permitted outside. Retail stores can reopen under the one person per four square meter rule, unvaccinated people will continue to only be able to access critical retail. Personal services such as hairdressers and nail salons can open with one person per four square meter, capped at five clients per premises. I'm assuming that's five clients at a time, not during the day. You'd hope not. Gyms and indoor recreation facilities can open under the one person per four square meter rule and can offer classes of up to 20 people. Sporting facilities, including swimming pools, can reopen. Stadiums, theaters, and major outdoor recreation facilities. Major recreation outdoor facilities, including stadiums, race courses, theme parks, and zoos can reopen with one person per four square meters capped at 5,000. Up to 500 people can attend ticketed and seated outdoor events. Indoor entertainment and information facilities, including cinemas, theaters, music halls, museums, and galleries can reopen with one person per four square meter or 75% fixed seated capacity. Weddings, funerals, and places of worship. Up to 50 guests can attend weddings with dancing permitted and eating and drinking only while seated. Up to 50, de- 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 50 guests can attend funerals while eating and drinking while seated. Churches and other places of worship to open subject to one person per four square meter rule and no singing. Now, I don't get the no singing. I mean, my singing is terrible. And I can, at least at church, there are enough people singing that are hide it. I mean, maybe, what about the choir? Can the choir sing? I mean, come on. Seriously. Do we even have, do we have those rules in Queensland? No singing. So... Travel. Domestic travel, including trips to regional New South Wales, will be permitted. Caravan parks and camping grounds can open. Carpooling will be permitted. Non-vaccinated young people under 16 will be able to access all outdoor settings, but will only be able to visit indoor venues with members of their household. Employers must continue to allow employees to work from home if the employee is able to do so. They want to, they want to limit people's potential exposure to this illness. 
And I, honestly, there are going to be people that'll want to work from home and never go back. Never go back to the office. You can't blame them. There will be revised guidance on isolation for close and casual contacts who are fully vaccinated with details to be provided closer to the reopening date. So masks. Masks will remain mandatory for all indoor public venues, including public transport, front of house hospitality, retail and business premises, on planes and at airports. Only hospitality staff will be required to wear a mask while when outdoors. Sucks to be in hospitality. Children under 12 will not need to wear a mask indoors. Treasurer Dominic Periotti said the easing of restrictions would come as a huge relief to struggling businesses and workers who just want to get their lives back on track safely. Yes, he's right there. I mean, this gives hope for businesses. If you've got a business that you want, you know, you don't... Uh, there comes a point where people aren't going to care about the politics. They just want business to run. They want to be able to open up again. The problem is they'll open up, they'll get ready, they'll get all excited. And then something will hit the fan and it'll all go out the window again. I hope not. This roadmap gives us a light at the end of the tunnel we all want and will enable our economy to start firing again, driving our state back to prosperity, he said. Health Minister Brad Hazard said the government will continue to be guided by the health advice and may still require targeted restrictions to deal with outbreaks. As we work towards reopening New South Wales, it is vital people continue to come forward and get vaccinated to help protect the community and reduce transmission of the virus. When New South Wales hits the 80% double-dose target, the government intends to open up further freedoms around international travel, community sport, major events and other areas. And they're encouraging you to book in for your vaccination as soon as possible. So what's the takeaway or the solution to this, everyone? Well, it's encouraging. They have a plan. Feels like they haven't had one. Let's just hope they stick to it and open up so people can get back to work and we can put this sorry mess all behind us and remember who put us through this at the voting booth. That's what my suggestion would be. What do you think, everyone? Do you think this plan will go ahead? Will this encourage people to get vaccinated or will it harden more people against it? Let us know your thoughts and opinions on this one in the comments down below. As always, thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you're a fan and enjoy the content I create here, there are a few ways you can support us. You can join us on YouTube or Patreon. Sign up for Self Wealth or Stake. Use our affiliate links at Amazon, eBay, Independent Reserve, or Aussie Broadband. Take care, guys. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.